some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Now, in today's video, we find ourselves in El Paso County, Colorado, at the local courthouse, where we find Christopher Cordell. Dove a little the delusional moronic asshat or DMA for short as he is harassing another security guard and says he'll be filing complaints. Oh poor little boy. I mean you can that's all you ever do is complain and file complaints and even file faults and the copyright strikes against people like what you did with Frauditor Troll nine False copyright strikes. I mean, poor baby. You are just always so buttered, aren't you? Yeah, you and accountability for all who doesn't have the guts to even respond to any of my emails about the copyright strike he sent to me. But hey, what do you expect from uh, frauditors anyway? I mean, all of you are nothing but a bunch of uh, whiny little crybabies who hide behind the First Amendment or your for interpretation of it. At any rate, guys, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alright guys, I had a lot of stuff. Hey guys, so the first thing they got is a pretty cool mural up there. How's it going, man? I'm just good, how are you doing? Good. Remember me from yesterday? Don't care. Oh, you don't care? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care about a whiny little punk-ass bitch such as yourself. And speaking of that, uh, you're going to be going to jail here in the next few days. And you're going to end up uh, being somebody's jail wife for a while. So, you know what? You're going to be the bottom bitch. Because those criminals, those actual hardened criminals, know how to handle the whiny little punks such as yourself. <laughs> okay. You're annoying, that's all. Oh, I'm annoying? Is that how you're supposed to be talking to members of the public or over there in your official capacity? Calling members of the public annoying? Remember when you came out there and told me not to record in the courthouse? No, I told you not to stick against the glass. Oh, little Chrissy boy, you can't stand to hear the truth of how annoying you are. Well, if you would take a moment and have a little bit of empathy and watch your own videos, you would understand how annoying you are and how that has gotten you into trouble over the years. So, you may be able to understand after that why people don't like you and why you end up complaining about it so much. Stop trying to film in the courthouse, please. What? Stop filming inside of the courthouse, please. Who are you? Didn't identify himself as any type of authority. Just some guy in a costume, I guess. Yeah, but why would you tell me that? Is that illegal to do that? I mean, I'm clearly in here now, now that it's hours of operation. I went through security. So. Good for you. Yeah, man, but you could just be nice, you know, to members of the public. Like, I wasn't breaking the law out there. No, but you're creeping people out, dude. That's weird. Like, I get what you're trying to do, I understand it, but you're filming people that are do just doing their job. Why? No, you actually don't understand what I'm doing. Okay. Well, half the time you don't even know the reason why you're in there. I mean, you don't make it perfectly clear. All you do is cause problems. The main issue is not the fact that you're filming. It's just that you have a very piss poor attitude. So I, I was doing a story on this uh, courthouse here. And, you know, I actually had public employees out there because probably the way you were talking to them, flipping me off as they're going out there. That's not very good conduct, right? Public employees be flipping off a cameraman. Oh, thanks. Have a good day, lady. <laughs> I just told him you were filming, that's all. Yeah. But then I remember I was over there, you were like shaking your head at me <laughs> and laughing, right? So, we are, do you work for El Paso County? Can I get your name? Can I get your name? 
You got a business card to take with me? Oh, oh, that'd be great. I like yours. But I want his because he actually made contact with me yesterday and he was extremely rude. Hey, little Chrissy. Uh, yeah, you want to talk about rude? Uh, you're the one that could be uh, given a ham sandwich and asked to have a uh, nice day by the waitress. And, uh, well, you would say, give me directives. I have a bad day if I want to. Well, who was rude in that occasion? Certainly not the waitress. So that's why. Okay. Can, you get, can you get, get him to identify yeah. for me, please? What? He won't give me his name. Yeah, his name is Joseph, yes. and he's a contractor for El Paso County Security. Okay, he's con so he works for the state, the, uh, the he's county. He's a contractor. Then? He's a contractor. Contractor. Okay, so he's not actually employed exactly through El Paso County. No, he's not. But he's still paid with tax dollars. Yes. So are you able to give me his last name? I can give you his first name, which is Joseph. Okay. So how would I go about doing a records request on your guys' contract that you have with him so I can find out what his name is and stuff like that and file a complaint on uh, his, through his company? Okay. He works for ASI Security. Okay. I can contact them or you're welcome to contact them. I don't have the number off the top of my head. Oh, little Chrissy wants to file a complaint. Well, let's see how this scenario would work out. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. If you're unhappy with our services today, feel free to fill out this grievance. You can address it to Officer Stevens, wad it up in a little ball, and pound it in your ass! Next! Next! Okay, so I gotta print up the... There's just a way to do it online, though. I don't have to, like, print up the... The form and then turn it in, right? I believe it's a PDF where you can type type in the information that you're requesting. Okay. About 99% sure. The lobby can also give you, if you'd rather have us print it out, the lobby can give you one as well, which is across the street. Okay. Across the street? Right, yeah, over there. Yeah, they can oh. give you, like, if, if you can't print it or you're not sure, they can give you a copy. Okay, and I could probably just turn it in over there too then, right? Sure can. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Yep, Appreciate welcome. you. See, man, that's how it's done, bro. You just treat members with uh, the public with respect and that's it. You know what I mean? You don't shake your head at them. You don't come out and give them unlawful directives, right? You, you don't be rude. That's all I'm saying, man. I'm trying to highlight good employees here. Unlawful directives, Chrissy boy? You think everything is an unlawful directive. But luckily, the world doesn't depend on your opinion. And your opinion is about, uh, worth as much as a single grain of sand on, in a desert. Right. And, you know, the other guy that was out here that gave that lady an escort, he was telling me that, you know, like, we we're having some good conversation over here. And he was saying how it makes people uncomfortable, you know, to be recorded. That's why they didn't like it. And I was telling him that, you know, the, the, the soldiers were uncomfortable when they were bleeding for my right to do this. Right. So that's kind of the, the analogy that I use when people say they're uncomfortable. So, you know, because people always say that I'm like sticking a camera in people's faces, but I'm not. I was like a good distance from people. I'm just recording people coming in and out of the building, you know? I'm doing my story, that's all. And, you know, I just, I don't need you coming out and barking orders at me, unlawful orders for that, and then refusing to identify, shaking your head at me, being rude. See your demeanor now, telling me that I'm annoying? That's not very good conduct, man. It's not a good look for you. And all this coming from a whiny, crybaby, criminal scumbag like yourself, whose word is about as worth as much as, like I said, as a grain of sand in the desert, your opinion matters that much. I have more respect for that guard doing his job than I would have for an annoying little nobody such as yourself. Right, so you're paid with tax dollars. You should treat the people that you, you know, work for with respect, right? Like, the people at McDonald's can't just call the customers annoying. <laughs> They'd be fired, man, right? Uh, Chrissy, I don't think you've actually worked in the real world because I personally have gotten in arguments with customers while I worked at Walmart and uh, never got fired for that. So in most cases, you're wrong. Uh, they'd go out of business if they all did that. So that's kind of the difference between government and private sector, though, is government has a monopoly on the use of force in a specific geographic area. So they can have, you know, employees like you who are rude to people and, you know, obviously they're not going to go out of business. There's no competition. But just keep that in mind, man. All right? I'm not doing anything wrong here, so. See? 
<laughs> you just can't help yourself with the little sighing. I'm just gonna, I mean, the more the attitude you I'm give me. Breathing, bro. Yeah, but your sighing, your body language, the more attitude you give me, the longer I'm gonna stay here, man. Well, of course that's the, the way it's gonna work out, you know, Chrissy boy, because the fact is that because of your stinking little attitude problem, you are unemployable at this very moment because I'm sure nobody wants to hire somebody with an attitude like yours. Trust me on that. I was literally about to leave until you had to do that, so I'll just hang out here a little bit longer, man. Okay. Okay. I mean, you're cool. welcome to. I know I am. We want you to go up there and do the I guess. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Hey, um, the woman whose camera this is is uh, one of the reporters. It's a short. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw her earlier. For some Thanks. reason, she went up there and uh, left, left her it, camera, yeah. her expensive camera. <laughs> All right, bye, Joseph. Have fun with those buckets, man. And you have fun in jail, little Chrissy boy. When they finally do sentence you here the next few weeks, even no matter how much time you get, it'll be a thousand years. Will seem like a thousand years for every day that you're in there. Tick tock, tick tock. Why did I end up in jail? Why is the world out to get me? Why am I so stupid? That's the questions you'll be asking yourself. And, well, you know what? All you gotta do is look in a mirror and, well, do a little bit of self-evaluation and realize maybe it's you. But I don't think you have that kind of capacity to uh, do a little bit of a self-evaluation. I mean, none of you frauditors do. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.